So I just wanted to talk a little bit about mindset and the decision to change your mindset or not. And how it is not your responsibility to push mindset changes on other people when they don't want it. Like, you need to know when to set boundaries for yourself. You know, as somebody who is kind of stepping into a, a role of, you know, healing people with these mindset issues, because now I feel like I've had enough experience with my own issues and elevating my own mindset, I'm just starting to feel confident enough to talk about it without, you know, feeling like I, don't, I have no right to talk about it. So I just wanted to share this, like, experience with this person that I'm talking to, um, or have been talking to, and they are basically in a deep, dark spiral about abortions. And, um, you know, as, as a woman, I've always been pro-choice. Um, I'm very, very pro-choice when it comes to abortions. I agree that sometimes, um, they are abused. I mean, when they're used as a form of birth control, I think that's really disgusting. Um, but this person was a man and, um, or is a man, not was a man, he is a man, and uh, his uh, girlfriend at the time had an abortion, and it was something that they both agreed on, um, but it really disturbed him afterwards because he essentially felt like he didn't actually have a say in it, you know, and he as a man is feel is really grappling with this like powerlessness of not being able to have a say and whether or not this woman gets an abortion. And, um, I don't think he's coming from like a nasty place at all. Um, it can certainly sound that way. And I think he's realizing it as he says it out loud. And I, I understand, I understand. I mean, I haven't been a man, um, in that position before, but I can empathize. I can put myself there and I can think about it and I can understand how difficult that would be. Um, you know, feeling powerless. I mean, women have been feeling powerless and not able to make decisions for themselves or what they want to do for uh, years. So we know all about that. Yeah, we do. Um, we know how you feel. Um, so, and my thing is, uh, this is the one thing that we get and you don't like, sorry, I'm sorry, but, and, and he was going into like, you know, the whole thing, the whole pregnancy thing, like a, a man can't even know when you're pregnant right away. And a man has nothing, no say over what a woman does with her body when she's carrying her child. And it's like, yeah, I know because it's, it's, it's her body and, and the, the, the fetus is in her body. So no, no, you can't, you don't have any say over that. And I'm not, I'm not saying like, like, like I said, I don't think he's coming from like a malicious point of view. He's just a serious overthinker. And he's very, like, scientific and has to try to figure out an answer for everything. And it's kind of driving him insane. And he's been very, very, like, sad about this and really down in the dumps about it. And he's trying to, like, you know, send me all of these articles about abortions and shit. And I've sort of reached, it didn't take me very long to reach a uh, I'm done point um, with this. And essentially... I was like, okay, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to invent some sort of machine that makes abortions okay for everybody? For the men, for all of the women with all of their different reasons, and for all of the people who do them? Are you just going to make it okay for all the people who s strongly support it and strongly don't support it? Are you just going to invent something that's going to make it all okay. No, you're not. Are you going to find a way to just like shift reality so that this isn't even an issue? No, you're not. Are you suggesting that men should have a say in it? Because imagine all of the fucking psychopaths that are out there 
who would love to have a say in it, who really shouldn't have a say at all in it. Are you going to suggest that? And if you're not going to suggest that, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Literally, the only options that you have are allow this to fucking consume you and drive you insane and keep you paralyzed with sadness, depression, you know, just not being able to get over the fact that you have no say in this and you don't know how to make it okay. Or you can fucking get over it. How about that? Literally, how about you just get over it? And I'm not saying that it's easy to just get over it, but it starts with the decision to get over it. You have to decide, I'm getting over this. Okay? You do. I'm being full on fucking blunt with you right now. And I have gone through some serious fucking shit for years. And I have had my cries. I have had my breakdowns. I have had my meltdowns. I have had my devastation, my heartbreak. I've had my heart ripped out of my chest, stomped on repeatedly. And you know what I do? I cry about it. I get down on the ground and I fucking sob about it. I dust my poor little heart off, I put it back in my chest, and I get on with my fucking day. I decide that I am going to get over this. And from then on, every time I have a negative thought about the person who did this stuff to me, I replace it with a positive one. Because every time I am negative about that person or wish them ill, I am essentially only doing that to myself. And all of this is a decision. You are deciding to change your mind about something because that is the only way that it is ever going to change. There are some things in this world that you cannot change until you change your mind about it first. There are some things in this world that can be fixed with engineering and science and tinkering and making machines. There are some things that can be done like that, but there are some things in this world that are only ever going to change if you change you first. And that's the truth of it. I'm sorry, it is. And sometimes I think that I come off way too blunt about it. But really, what are you going to do? Those are your options. Are you going to fucking wallow in it forever? Are you going to be sad about this forever? Are you going to let this just destroy you forever? Hum and haw about it? What could I have done? What could I have done? I didn't do this. I didn't do that. Did I make the right decision? It doesn't matter anymore. It's done. It doesn't matter. There is nothing that you can do to change it. It happened. It's over. And trust that it happened for a reason. Even if it doesn't feel like it. You were not supposed to have a child with that person. The universe was like, this is a bad idea for you. This is a bad idea for the fetus. This is a bad idea for the mother. There is some reason why this was not going to work out. So it didn't. And now you need to feel grief about that. And you need to pick yourself up. And you need to stop driving yourself fucking crazy over something that you cannot change. The only way that you are going to make this better for you is if you decide to change your mind. And for people like me who are, you know, 
trying to get the word out about changing your mind, changing your mindset, and therefore changing your reality, being untouchable when it comes to negativity because you are at a higher vibration. When you're at a higher vibration, you're thinking good thoughts, you're wishing people well, you're spending, from the moment you wake up, you're thinking about what you're grateful for and how blessed of a day you're about to have and how you wish even the most evil people a good day too. That's fucking, it's hard, trust me. It's hard. It's not easy. But I do it. If you are one of those people, you cannot argue with somebody who doesn't want to be helped. You can't. If they like it in their dark hole of despair, you can try to throw them a rope, but don't you dare crawl down into that hole of despair and try to get them out on your back. No, not anymore. That's what we used to do. We used to sacrifice ourselves and our own happiness, and we used to get down and crawl into that hole, put them on our back, and try to struggle up. Not anymore. Not anymore. Throw them a rope, and if they decide, they can climb up. They have the instructions. You've given them the instructions. You've told them the options. It's up to them now if they want to come up or not. It's not up to you. And maybe he just needs to be sad for a little while longer. And then he will climb out. Or not. But we're not fucking ourselves over anymore to save other people. Okay? Okay.